You may have heard that you should take the MCAT in the winter, sometime in January or March, because the test takers who score high take the exam in the summer. Is that a good strategy? Will your score depend on when you take the exam and who takes it with you? Hey guys, Jack Weston here, and today I'm going to discuss whether or not the MCAT is curved. The answer is no, the MCAT is not curved. Your score does not depend on when you take the exam or who takes it with you. You're probably used to having your college exams curved if you go to a big university. It's typically used for very difficult exams where the average score in the class could be as low as 20% or for very easy exams where the average score is as high as 90%. The professor establishes a curve in such cases because they believe the test scores may not accurately measure your knowledge of the material. If you think about it, most professors just randomly pick and choose questions to put on their exam without really thinking about how easy or hard the questions may be. If that's the case, they really don't know your grade. On top of that, the professor wants to avoid upsetting the class if everyone bombs it, and at the same time, they don't want everyone scoring high because, well, they're supposed to make the class hard. Regardless of the circumstance, once your exam is placed on a curve, a small percentage of students will get A's, another small percentage will get F's, and everyone else pretty much gets a C or a B. That's why it's called a bell curve. If you look at a graph displaying the grades, there's a bell shape where most students get a grade in the middle. The placement of the bell curve depends on the average score, which means it depends on who takes the exam with you. For curved exams, you should hope and pray no one scores higher than you because if enough test takers perform better than you, no matter how well you end up doing, you could end up with a low grade. That means if you score an 80% on an exam, but the average is, let's say, a 90%, you could somehow end up with a C or an F. The professor is basically saying, okay, I don't know what your grade is, so I'm going to compare you to other students that took the exam with you and based off that, I'll assign you a grade. Do you see how unfair that is? In my opinion, this just creates unnecessary competition and stress. And even if you really know your stuff, you could get penalized simply because you're in a class with geniuses. Thankfully, the MCAT doesn't work this way. Since the MCAT is a standardized exam, they account for factors like this. They don't want a really smart group of students to break the curve. To prevent this from happening, they scale the test. That means they already know the difficulty of each question in advance. It's not based on one test or one group of test takers. Instead, it's based on hundreds of test days and thousands of test takers. They know exactly where each question lies in difficulty because they use the same questions over and over again. Maybe not back to back, but yearly. They recycle them. If a lot of students get a specific question wrong throughout the year, they classify it as a hard question. If a lot of students get a question right, they classify it as an easy question. Every administration of the exam has the same level of difficulty on average because they scale it in a way where each one has the same ratio of easy and hard questions. So if you end up with a bunch of smart students in your test center, that's okay because you could all end up with a high score. Technically, you could take the exam by yourself on a random day and they'll already have a score for you because the scale is predetermined. What will impact your score is how hard you work towards understanding this exam. And if you need help with this, I offer a university-style online MCAT course specifically to show you how to read passages and answer questions step by step. You can learn more about it by visiting my website at jackweston.com. Thanks for watching.